Hey, what's going on, you guys? I want to share with you guys a little problem we have in uh, Logic Pro. Uh, at least in my version of it, I've checked online with Apple support and as far as the community goes. And there appears to be a bug in the EXS24 sampler when loading multiple samples. The samples are loading wrong, and I'll show you what happens. Um, basically, um, this is for version 9.0.1. Um, today is September 29th and the last update was on I guess about a week ago so let's let's get down to business now if we go to our edit screen in our EXS24 sampler and we bring up and we go to zone and load multiple samples and we uh, get our samples from wherever we have them stored on our our computer And let's just say for today, we're going to try to load multiple samples onto our EXS24 sampler instrument. <clears throat> we're going to load it as contiguous zones, um, basically. And oh, well, you see what happens here? Uh, these little dots right here. These are each individual sample. And basically, they denote the sample. But you see this bar up top? This is an ag another sample. And this shouldn't be happening. Basically, when you load samples up as contiguous zones, it should start where you actually say the note starts at C1. As you see, it ran past C1. And it also. Uh, stressed out some of the samples so it, what it should have what should have happened was for each sample that I have loaded onto my e EXS24 sample it should be loaded on one key it should not be dragging, dragging out like that um, another thing I wanted to show you guys is uh If we load another sample on there, <clears throat> this will find. And we try to we click it on something else, and we want to try to load it as a, maybe a drum track or a uh, uh, different auto map. If you try to go back to particular zones, it, you can't choose your different start note. It won't let you do that, and it won't let you change your zone width, and it shouldn't do that either. So. Um, yeah, hopefully they fix it pretty soon, if the, and so people can actually use it. Since it's not working in Logic 9, as far as I know, I would suggest creating your uh, sample instruments in, in Logic 8 if you have it available to you until they get this bug fixed and worked out. If you have any other bugs that you might know of, please uh, shoot me an email or, or uh, leave a comment on my comment page so other people can find out about them. And also, uh, there's a couple of other other websites out there that might be interested in knowing the, about the bugs. Uh, report it to the Apple support uh, team for one that you want to do. Go to apple.com and go to support, and basically uh, start a post there and let them know that the the bugs that are going on with the uh, logic. Um, I don't know if it's just with the Snow Leopard operating system or not, but I know I've noticed in logic at least. There have been a couple of bugs, so I don't know if they're still working out bugs and kinks with uh, Snow Leopard, or if it's just Logic itself. itself. Um, also, um, another community that might be interested in knowing about the bugs is Wink Sound, and they work with uh, various different uh, operating uh, operating systems or uh, programs, so they might be interested in knowing so they can pass it on as well. So. Yeah, just holler at me and uh, leave me an email or whatever if you find anything out like that. So, thanks.